Paul McGuire Grimes, KSTP, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Tom, it is really great talking to you again. Before we talk about Uncharted, I just want to tell you that Spider-Man No Way Home was in my top 10 of the year. I absolutely loved it. And congrats on the success of that movie. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Now, Uncharted, I'm not a big gamer, but I had so much fun with this one as well. So congrats as well. Thank you. Yeah. Now I want to talk about the action scenes here. How different were they and the training? Because I really felt the difference with you as Nate than with Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Yeah, I mean, it was actually, it was it was a tough mountain to climb, really. I mean, I'm playing two characters who are famous for climbing things. So we really had to try and figure out a unique style for Nathan Drake that was nothing like Spider-Man. Uh, but it was fun. The action sequences, I think, really what tie this film together uh, it's been a while for me since I've seen a film with action of this scale that is this adventurous and this bold. So it was a lot of fun to accept that challenge and designing the fight sequences and figuring out how we were going to shoot certain sequences uh, was really a lot of fun. Yeah, I love hearing that. And it, it does feel different. We don't get a lot of these kind of big family action films anymore. What was the most exciting thing about filming internationally? And do you get time to just explore the cities when you're there? I mean, one of the best things about my job is 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 our ability to, to travel. Uh, we shot in Berlin, which is easily one of my favorite cities in Europe. And we also got to shoot in the lovely Barcelona, which is a place I've you know, grown to love as a kid. Mm. Uh, so it was amazing. And this film is all about adventure. It's a family movie about going to the places that had never been found before. So it was only fitting that we traveled around the world to make it. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Speaking of family, I would bet that kids approach you on the street. What are those conversations like and how does that impact the projects that you want to take on? It's interesting, like the difference between like when a kid comes up to say hello and when a parent comes up <laughs> to ask you to say hello to their kid. When they come up themselves, they're normally really excited and full of confidence and they want to ask you all the questions. Um, and then when a parent says, can you say hello to my kid? Normally they get really, really shy and they ask for a picture and the kid's always like burying their head in their mum's shoulder or something. So it's really sweet. And, you know, I've been really lucky with my fan base that they've been so supportive and so kind on the street and um, with recognising you. Because sometimes... You know, naturally, there are times where it's not convenient to take a picture. You have to sort of yeah. say, like, if I take a picture with you, then everyone's going to take a picture and I'm not going to be able to get home. Uh, <laughs> most people are really courteous about the the whole thing. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, your character, Nate, has to kind of look and build trust with Mark Wahlberg's character. And you both balance that comedy and the action so well. What did you learn working next to him and Antonio Banderas, who's always so great? I mean, it was a lot of fun working with Mark. I think our personal relationship really helped build Nate and Sully on screen. That kind of back and forth banter that they had uh, was very real, you know, in the nicest way possible. You know, him and I would play golf together and we were constantly giving each other shit. We're on set with each other and we're constantly giving each other shit. I think there was an element of like, I'm the new kid on the block. He was once the new kid on the block, uh, like old dog, new trick sort of situation. So it, it was a lot of fun working with him. And then obviously the wonderful Antonio Banderas. I mean, he is an absolute legend. And yeah. In the original script, I actually had no scenes with him. And I remember saying to Ruben, like, I, I think you really need to, to get me a scene with him. Like, you need to have the hero <laughs> and the villain meet. And, uh, and Ruben wrote that great scene in the auction house, which I'm really grateful for. I love that you had the courage to just be like, write me a, sign, a scene with him. Like, I think that's great. I got the rap. Tom, I wish I could keep talking to you. Congrats again on this film. Congrats on Spider-Man. You've had such a really wonderful career and I just can't wait to see more. So thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.